I love stealing stuff. I don't really like to steal things and keep it, but the idea of stealing stuff is kind of fun, right? Yeah, I mean, sure. I mean, because it's sort of dangerous. You get to feel like you're young and dangerous. Like, like I'm one of the Lost Boys. I'm gonna join that vampire club in LA and <laughs> go watch a guy with no shirt on playing sax. I feel like that's gonna be me. But um, not the sax guy, he's awesome. He's still alive. It's a very so particular description. <laughs> I just wanna hang out with Kiefer Sutherland, young Kiefer Vampire Sutherland. Yeah, the, yeah, that one. And, you know, and Corey Haynes and Corey Feldman. Yes. And them not trying to kill the vampires. Oh, right. But we could all be vampires together. It'd be probably tight. that'd be the best way to do it. And the mom's kind of hot in that too. The mom, oh, she's she's. God, I forgot about that. Yeah, she, I think she's like. You should go watch that movie. I watched it. She has time. short hair in that movie, and then but the, the like, anyway, but stealing stuff, stealing guitars. So my wife and I would actually like to. We would go to the Bell Tree next door, and she would always steal the picture of okay. um, Bobby playing trumpet. She'd oh yeah. Steal yeah. It, then we bring it back the next day. Just because it was fun. And well, she was just when you were before you had kids. She drunk. She was drunk. She was drunk. It was funny. But um, <laughs> now stealing guitars though, if you're not gonna return it, it's not very nice. It's not very good. Don't no. don't steal guitars. And so we want, because <laughs> we've heard a few funny stories of guitar stealing over, have. over the past few years. And um, it, it, and we just thought we'd just talk about it. Like we had the the terrible ones like that we talked about Robbie Z on our channel here that had his entire collection just like destroyed and like taken, and he's been recovering it back. That's one of our videos. Please go back and watch it. It's, um, we've helped him recover quite a few so far, and he's still getting them, which is yeah, amazing. Thank you, true. everybody involved there. But then we even go to it was, it was um, it was Peach Guitars. Yes, that was one of the first ones I saw on the internet of recent. Like you know, that was right before the pandemic. Right. And it was this couple came in and they stole a PRS private stock. She she had like a little hook thing like in her jacket or something, and, and like put it in there. And just walked out with walked it. Walked right out. Yeah, on video, but man, that was horrific. That's pretty horrible. You like, know? I mean, that's that was a fourteen thousand dollar guitar. There, yeah. What's the what's the video going around now of the guy who shoves it down his pants? I think that's pretty funny. <laughs> was that a guitar center? I think it was. I mean, there, you know, like when I was a guitar center, you would watch these um, <clears throat> these sort of theft videos, right? Wait, so us, you know what to look the for. The keyboard one. The keyboard one was was kind of the insane because there was, there was a guy who would come in. He would he would you know ask for like the box for like a hundred fifty dollar keyboard, but then he'd go towards the bathroom. He'd lean the guitar or the keyboard there, take the cheap keyboard out, put like a Les Paul in the box. And he already has his receipt, so then he would just walk out the door. They'd stamp his receipt. He's got his little box, and then later they'd find the keyboard and realize you know. Hey, why is this keyboard missing? out here? Right. Somebody do an inventory. There's a keyboard that's didn't somebody buy old, this keyboard? Old R. Oh, yeah. <laughs> someone got this Les Paul. So, you know, um, there's stuff like that. I mean, we used to see the videos all the time of the guys who would stick them down their pants and then, like, Velcro their pants and then walk out the door. So, so at Guitar Center, when you were working there, and someone, <laughs> is there somebody actively watching the cameras? Nobody's watching the cameras, but there is a guy. There's supposed to be. I know there's a guy, like, guy the, at the, the door that's the, supposed the to check. Knuckle the Jagger. Camera. But no, nobody's watching the cameras, as far as I know. Okay, yeah, because I mean, that, that's where you're going to catch it, yeah. most likely. And then you have to be like the the product retention specialist. I mean, that would be really fun if like somewhere in the back there were these, you know, five TV screens, six TV screens, and you're just checking them all the time. But, I mean, that's what we do here at Casino. Yeah, like, absolutely. Like, I yes. literally sit in my office and I just count money and watch the cameras. Yeah. <laughs> 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 making it rain. My coins. I don't do cash. I just do coins. We have to do <laughs> it bullion. makes me think of uh, the Scrooge on the old DuckTales <laughs> cartoon. You remember that God, where he's always like swimming doesn't in his remember that. It's amazing. God, what a great <sighs> show or whatever that was. Imagine diving in those coins, though. That would hurt so much. That would hurt. And he's it looks like, so oh, good, though. Shh. Yeah. It's like in, um, in Hobbit, like <laughs> the desolation of smog. <laughs> like when like they're jumping through like the gold coins and stuff. Like That would really not feel good. And you'd really? smell terrible afterwards. Yes. Because that stuff doesn't smell good. No. Money doesn't. all together. It's sort of like when you play old guitar strings on somebody's guitar. They had changed in like 50 years. And or that hag strum behind my right shoulder. That one. You get that uh, sort of strange like onion smell on your fingers. Ugh. Yeah, I've I've had a few nylon string guitars that people bring in that have not been restrung in. Is that a particularly time. bad? There's something about like oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's just nasty. Imagine if they were real cat gut. At least you could use it for stuff later. I don't know what. I feel like it'd be like it's worth. I something. You could like boil it, be edible. <laughs> That's, I mean, I was gonna say eat it or use it for dental floss, but that seems inappropriate and gross. <laughs> like it would just fall apart if you use. But it we just floss. did that. No, it's um. <sighs> It's been like, there's so many, I'm, the main reason we're doing this because I want to hear some funny stories from any of you guys that have seen this happen, or even if you've done it. We have guitar thieves hit us all the time. 
on the internet. That, that's right. That's kind of what we're used to sort of getting hit by. And so we're just kind of covering, we're doing a big paintbrush. I want to hear stories too. And Johnny and I will be all over these comments on this because this will be a funny one. We're catching back up. We're slowly well, catching up. You know, and I, like I, so I used to work at a shop in um, Sumrill near Charleston, South Carolina. And there was a rash of people just pulling up to the front door, running in. They just grab whatever was closest and they would run back out to their car. And there you go. No cases, no nothing. Still the guitars. You ever Probably. seen that? Yeah. God, it's crazy. Because like, we always thought like that would happen here too. You have a bunch of guitars right there at the mm-hmm. window. If somebody wanted to come in and open the door and just grab something and go, you'd be like, all right, they're squires. And, and well, they're squires now, but we have yeah. had it where they were like high and Gretches and we yeah. had PRs. Or less Pauls. <laughs> right. Yeah, it moves we, around. You know, switch it around. So who knows? We but, get um, bored of staring the same stuff all day. Yeah, it's true. Can have, um, have people do stuff. But no, um, yeah, that'd be rough. Yeah, but the internet is the main source of terror. And again, like we've done a whole video on Delaware. Yep. Watch we just out had for another me. one the other day. Guy trying to get us to send a know, he's card to Delaware. He called. He's emailed. The phone calls are weird. Yeah. He doesn't really know what he was talking about. Yeah. Um, asked for shipping. We're like, yep. We're just waiting for that chargeback to show up. You know? Yeah, because he bought the guitar. So and we're just kind of trying to we don't, so put we, it off. So what happens is a retail shop too. People, criminals will buy guitars. And then there's like, all right, send me shipping. Um, it's usually some type of broken English some weird, or bad type yeah, of, you know. Weird syntax, yeah. Or sometimes it's not. And that's, you, you always it's have to be getting better. It's scary. It was scary, right? And, um, he, and he gets one called too. And we just asked for some more verification because it's a different shipping address than it is location. Then it was a different, then a different phone number each time. And to like a shipping to, service, you know. And, like, and we're okay um, shipping to shipping services, but you have to disclose it. As a criminal, I'm giving you that tip too. If you're trying to do this, Make sure you disclose to the shop that you're going through a shipping service, even if it is a fraudulent. Purchase. Just might be some, you know, some. Uh, if that's right. Better chance of getting Here you through. Go. Well, and I mean, it's a red flag to me when someone just checks out in the middle of the night a ten thousand dollar guitar, no correspondence, no questions. You didn't think anything. You know what I mean? I mean, that's just that's really rare. Usually, there's some sort of communication before someone pulls the trigger on a crazy high end guitar like that. And we require it. Um, before yeah, we, we ship the guitar, that's just part of that's part of the deal now. And if you don't feel comfortable with that, we don't we don't want to shop. With, we don't want to work with you because um, these are these are like little puppies to us too. Yeah, puppies made of wood that don't pee everywhere and ruin your house. I mean, you know, years ago, poor naive us, somebody would buy that. And we'd be like, oh wow, they checked out. It's amazing. Let's just, let's just send it to them right now. God. <laughs> before you check out the AVS on it, and it's like, oh cool, it's like it's yeah. AVS does not match. Shipping address does not match. I'm like, ship it. Um, that's, well, that's the dumb days, but hopefully savvy enough. There's a, be careful of that. You know, and Craigslist too, like, oh my goodness. Yeah. It's getting this, you know, do people use Craigslist anymore? I, I, I feel it's like, like someone Facebook marketplace is had, had to have like taken over most of it. And but, so, um, yeah, it used to be the thing though, right? You get on Craigslist. I would like just, just, just scour through Craigslist for hours. Remember we almost things. did like a video on the like, Sweetwater marketplace or something. Yeah. But they like they launched this thing and like, oh my god, this is so cool. They're like, nobody really Seems uses like it. no one uses it, yeah. Maybe you do though. If you do, if you use the Sweetwater like marketplace thing, let us know. We're intrigued by it. But there's not there's no product on it. There's no there's hardly anything there. So so, so not, obviously people people. Because well, there's just watch. not the buyer protection and there's not the it's just more True. like a it's an open field they created. It's, I just don't think it did much and they just didn't put much no. infrastructure into it. And they were like, Why should we? We sell new things and we sell a nice thousand thing. guitars a day during the pandemic. We don't need to do this. You know, there's there's also the the old bait and switch sort of idea when they go into the guitar shop. They'll it'll be like a they'll they'll ask you to buy the they want to buy the guitar, and if it's a small shop and you go to the back room to get the case, someone else can come in and steal a guitar, or they can both steal it and leave. I've seen that type of thing where they sort of trick you. Yeah, a little bit. I don't know if that's a bait and switch. Actually, I said the wrong thing. Yeah, if like bait and switch, you had to somehow get yeah, a better guitar in the case or something. I was thinking of a different story yeah. going into that. That's what's more with what you did on the yeah. on the departure. Not you personally did. That'd be it wasn't me. <laughs> it wasn't me. Is I'm that, on probation. Is that oh, yeah, Shaggy no. that's saying it wasn't me? It wasn't me. Yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> there was no. I remember watching like Shaggy and Sting on some like Good Morning America show. Yeah. And it was not good. No, it was so sad. But it just made, the fact that it was them was kind of fun. But it was yeah. funny. But it maybe because I, I think Sting is still one of like he just like he's he's like walking version of sex. He is like I don't oh, know tantric. how old he is, but he's just doesn't still, matter. 
He's ageless. He just has to like ageless male. Na, 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 na. He just has to start singing. You're like, up oh, now I'm just as we walk in your hands, thing we all are. Yeah, that was good. You know what I was thinking right when I said that. That's what I said. Why is that such a pretty melody? It really is. Because it's Sting. <sighs> Everything no, he does is. is great. Yeah. Everything he does is magic. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no. It's so I, good. I mean, you go back. If you haven't listened to the Police ever, just go listen to the Police. Like, put the Police. Go on the Amazon Music or whatever you have. And just listen to their greatest hits. You don't have to listen to all the deep cuts. They're great too. But um, yeah. you'll be like, oh, that's a put. Oh, there's 20 songs that, that are, are all amazing. It gets, there's literally 20 right. songs before you're like, oh, this one's kind of okay. Right. But we're just saying something because that is that is not true for most bands. There's like two songs. And then you're like, oh, yeah, there's there. I don't know, like Tom Petty won. Yeah, maybe. Free fall. <laughs> I just want to say. <laughs> That was my favorite moment of the day. <laughs> Somebody's really mad. It's like, I said that because John is obsessed with Show him your tattoo. That spells Tom Petty. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> In druidic runes. <laughs> <No. laughs> what? Why is that so funny? So dumb. I don't know. So if you were going to steal a guitar out there. How would you do it? And you can't do it on the internet. You got you to gotta be, be a man. You got to have some guts here. I, I, I want to see you go into this. How would you steal a guitar? I was going to say I respect that more, but I don't know. That's maybe the oh, wrong It's a little phrase. scarier. Because um, really... I'm trying to imagine if someone just ran in and grabbed a guitar and ran out. Like, I feel like we'd all be shocked. I think we'd be, we would be confused. I think, and I told <laughs> everyone, like, don't think about it, but we would definitely do something about it. We would chase you. Yeah, it would be hard for me to No, I would want to chase you. Those, I'd want to um, hurt you. Yeah, I would probably. And if we got you, it would not be good. It'd be horrible. Be, the guitar would probably get trashed as it got thrown I thought about that if you tackled somebody. But that's okay. It's worth the guitar. It's true. You know, it's... um. It's a squire. Yeah. It's, it's like worth getting to tackle somebody, maybe. Totally. You're like, hey, we recovered the $129 thing. Unless you're really large and muscly. Now this guy is back. suing us <laughs> for hurting him. Dang it. God, which is, that is, I feel like if you do that, you can't sue. But you could, probably. But you can in this weird society. Like, yeah. Well, you shouldn't. You should just let him go. You have insurance for that. Insurance doesn't cover the squire. No. <laughs> I guess Plus, it's just respect thing. It is a respect. Just walk thing. into somebody's business. Yeah, I would, I would smack you. Unless you look like James Gandolfini, like, hey, Maybe I want that different. guitar there. I'm like, well, it's two hundred dollars. Like, I want that guitar. I'm like, sir, have a nice day. You can have that guitar. That guitar is now here, James that's, Gandolfini. That's different. If you're a soprano, you can have whatever you want. There's um, yeah, there's there's a lot of ways to steal guitars. It's true, and we're sort of tired of it. Don't steal guitars. So like. If you have any way of helping people prevent it too, like on this channel as well, like share them, share yes. the ideas right here. As far as especially a lot of people are selling on Reverb, a lot of people are yep. selling on the Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. I mean, and and sort of local things like that help them avoid this happening. There's don't get got. Don't send guitars until you've gotten a full verification. Checks never accept the check unless it's cleared. You know, even cashier's checks. There's fake cashier checks. We've been gotten by that once, years ago. It was just when we were selling so many things, like one day we're selling things. I was counting my coins back with DuckTales. Um, watching, I watched DuckTales and count my coins. <laughs> What's sad is you sell all these things and then the one guitar gets stolen and it sort of like counteracts all those other things. You're like, oh yeah, we sold these things this week. And then, no. It is really sad when that happens. It's, yeah. um, cause it, and it's like, you know, and I look at that as like, well, that could be, Going towards bonuses, or that could be paying, like, you know, for these things, or we could Riding all go out. Guitars, yeah. yeah <laughs> guitars, we could go see the movie or something, and, like, you know, or just yeah. or go to the guys and True. everything, like, all of us, like, it's it's bummer. It is know, bummer. When people do that. So it does, it comes out of, it does come out of the bottom line of people that work at the guitar shop. It's true. It's, it's how it kind of works, and because it, it becomes part of that shrinkage, is the word. The old shrink. And um, we don't like that. No. So help us stop these. Help us thwart them. Watch that Robbie Z video we have on there about the um, biggest guitar collection stolen. God, it's, a, it's probably, a, God, is that a year old yet? It's got to be getting close, right? I think, I feel like it. I don't it's got to be getting close. I have no idea what, what time of the year it is right now. Anyway, no. it's like, Who knows? I live in this, this haze. We're so confused. I'm We've had confused. snow lately. It's been snow, all Snow kind of sickness, everything. <laughs> it's yes. been a trip. Snow sickness, it's real. <laughs> it's the newest thing. <laughs> Oh, God help us. I think that might be it. That's probably it. Don't steal guitars. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. If you have good stories on it, let us know. And we can all share them and work together towards a safer, better guitar society. Cheers. That was good. Take us home.
<laughs> All right, hit like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Click that bell so you don't miss videos in the future. We appreciate you hanging out with us. We'll see you next time.